It's been nine years since Marcus was released from prison. Like his father predicted, Marcus has gone on to great things. Yeah. And many more. King and here's Rogers, my... I'm not. Happy 29th birthday, Marcus. Mm -hmm. I really we appreciate it. You. I love y'all, too. I knew y'all was, to... was up to something. <laughs> oh, man. I was able to go to college, able to be a captain, be a starter, go into the NFL and play five years in the league. I saw my name, uh, M. Dixon, on the locker with the Dallas Cowboys. I had a the big star on my helmet. I had my jersey hanging up, had the cleats and everything. And I was like, wow, like, I'm in the NFL. And it was just, uh, you know, you kind of kind of got to hold back the tears because, you know, you're in the, you're in the locker room. There's other grown men in there. But it was definitely overwhelming. I mean, I can tell my kids, whenever I have kids and my grandkids, hey, your, your granddaddy had a tackle in the NFL. <laughs> it's getting a little warm. I'm in the process of trying to make that transition from the NFL to, you know, the next step in my life, and I want to be a coach. I have a coaches meeting tomorrow at 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> How weird does that sound? This is the old gym. They handcuffed me in the principal's office, and school had just let out. So I'm basically walking out as, you know, everybody's waiting on the bus and everything, right in this, right in this area. I was terrified. Terrified. Yep. It's been 10 years, and it's, it's a lot it's a lot of us behind us, but it's still Marcus Dixon was accused of rape. So that's, for the rest of my life, that's going to be associated with my name. I, I forgave her. You know, my grandma taught me at a young age, like, you don't, you don't hold grudges. You hold grudges, all you're doing is holding your life back. Marcus is stronger than I am. I've always wanted my kids to grow up and do better than me. And he has. He's got a great head on his shoulders. He's got a uh, lot going for him. 